Hi everyone. So here is the another important theorem and the statement of the theorem is, and let me tell you the theorem has been taken from uh, the neighborhood uh, chapter, neighborhood property. Okay. And the statement is the intersection of finite, finite number of neighborhoods. Let me show you <clears throat> finite number of neighborhoods of a point C of a point C is also a neighborhood of C. That means suppose we have some finite number of neighborhoods of a point C and I have to show that if I intersect the finite number of neighborhoods that will be again the neighborhood of the point C. Okay, this is the statement of the uh, theorem. But let me uh, uh, tell you that why it is given finite, okay? And I will discuss this condition or this, uh, I will discuss about this uh, condition that why it is finite after proofing the theorem, okay? So let's prove it. Proof. <clears throat> the intersection of a finite number of neighborhoods of a point C. So I am considering that S1 and S2, these two are two neighborhoods of C, right? In short form, we can write NBD as in, in place of neighborhoods, okay? So S1 and S2 are two neighborhoods of the point C. Since S1 is a neighborhood of the point C, so we can find out an open interval, which will be subset of S1. So I am taking A1, B1. This is the open interval of the point C and which is subset of S1. So C belongs to open interval A1, B1, which is subset of S1. Similarly, S2 is a neighborhood of C. So we can find out an another open interval A2, B2 of the point C, which is subset of S2, right? So C belongs to A1, B1, which is subset of S1, and C belongs to A2, B2, which is subset of S2. Now here, C belongs to A1, B1. That means the point A1 is in the left-hand side of the point C. And similarly, the point A2 is in the left-hand side of the point C. Okay, so suppose this is the point C, and suppose this is our A1, B1, and this is our A2, B2. Okay, so from here, what we can say? We can say that this A1 will be less than B1, right? So A1 less than B1. And this A1 will also less than B1. So A1 less than, sorry, B2. And similarly, A2, this will be less than B1. And A2, this will be less than B2. Okay, but we have to take the intersection. When we have to take the intersection, but we don't know the exact position of A1, A2 and the exact position of B1, B2. It may be that this interval is A1, B1, right? Suppose this interval is A1, B1 and this interval is A2, B2. Maybe it is possible, okay? So I don't know the exact position of these points. That's why when I have to take the intersection, I have to choose the closest interval of the point C. That's why what I am taking. I am taking an, another interval A3, B3, okay? Where, where A3, this is equals to, let's see. I have to take the intersection. That's why I have to choose that point, which is closer to the point C, right? So A3 is equals to minimum, sorry, maximum, maximum of A1, A2, okay? According to this figure, A2 is maximum uh, than A1. And uh, if this is A1, if this is A1, and this is A2, then A1 will be the maximum than A2, okay? And similarly, B3, B3 that will be, I have to choose that point which will be nearest to C. 
that's why b3 that will be minimum of b1 b2 right so from here what we can say we can say that this union uh, sorry intersection a1 b1 intersection a3 sorry a2 b2 from this intervals intersecting we have calculated the intersection so a1 b1 intersection a2 b2 this will be a3 b3 right because from here i have find out this interval so a1 b1 intersection a2 b2 this is equals to a3 b3 now here from this we can say that open interval a1 b1 this is subset of s1 intersection s2 right because a1 b1 subset of s1 so a1 b1 subset of s1 intersection s2 and a2 b2 this is subset of s1 intersection s2 right and a1 b1 intersection a2 b2 if i intersect this intersection a2 b2 this is subset of s1 intersection s2 and this is nothing but a3 b3 this is subset of s1 intersection s2 okay so a3 b3 this is subset of s1 intersection s2 and the point c c belongs to in this interval a3 b3 so from here this is nothing but the mathematical representation of the definition of neighborhood c belongs to an open interval a3 b3 which is a subset of the set s1 intersection s2 so s1 and intersection s2 this becomes the neighborhood so from here we can say that the intersection of two neighborhoods is also a neighborhood of the point c okay now the question is why it is given that it is finite okay so let's take an example where we have to take the infinite number of intersection okay so suppose i am uh, taking some neighborhoods of the point zero okay and the neighborhoods are minus one by n one by n n belongs to set of natural number okay and if i intersect this n belongs to one to infinity minus one by n one by n what will be the intersection suppose this is our point zero and this is minus one this is one so this is a interval this is an interval and this will be minus half half this will be minus one by three one by three in this way we are approaching to the point zero from both sides so the intersection will be the single turn set zero right and single turn set is not an open interval single turn set is not a neighborhood okay that's why the intersection of infinite number of neighborhoods this is not always a neighborhood okay that's why it is noted that the intersection must be finite number of neighbors okay so i think this video will be very beneficial for you and share it with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you